okay so we we have checked feature number two now we want to check feature number three independent variables should be jointly significant to influence dependent variables so I, I said jointly you know last time I said individually but now I am saying independent variables should be jointly significant to, to influence dependent variable and this thing can be tested using F, F text and that we shall do now the F test shall do now the F test okay so you can see the F statistics it is F statistics and the corresponding probability value how much is it is the probability value is 8.3 percent and when the probability value is more than five percent meaning that we cannot reject now we cannot reject now meaning that we we cannot reject null means we accept now and what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis is that all the independent variables jointly cannot influence y what is the null hypothesis as i said all the independent variables jointly cannot influence y so here we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept null hypothesis meaning that all the three independent variables which are x1 x2 x3 jointly cannot influence our dependent variables so this one is a bad sign of the model of this regression model because what is the good sign good sign is when the three independent variables jointly can influence y but here it is not happening so that is the bad sign of this whole regression model okay then i talk about feature number four of a good regression model what is the feature number four residuals are not autocorrelated so that is desirable so what is null hypothesis residuals are not autocorrelated and what is alternative residuals are autocorrelated residuals are autocorrelated or serially correlated so same meaning autocorrelation and serial correlation is same meaning okay and here null hypothesis is desirable so what test brush godfrey serial correlation test this test uh, uh, we shall be doing now okay so so uh, bush godfrey test uh, we shall do now and this is under residual analysis so i click on the view you just follow me and click on the residuals because autocorrelation is a residual matter so we choose the residual diagnostic then i choose this one serial correlation lm test right you know serial correlations what does it mean also autocorrelation so i click on it and suppose i choose two lakhs it is already here by default so I choose it click on it 
so this is the outcome so the it is the bush godfrey serial correlation test as i told and it is our target and uh, suppose i choose this one observed r square and this is the statistics and corresponding p value how much is the p value 1.92 percent 1.92 percent means it is less than 5 percent meaning that we can reject null hypothesis because the p-value is less than 5 percent so meaning that we can reject null if we reject null meaning that the residual of this model has autocorrelation problem or residuals are serially correlated which is not desirable so so this one is the bad side of this model because residuals are serially correlated okay then feature number five what is the feature number five Variance of the residual is homoscedastic. What does it mean? Uh, so, uh, so uh, and what is the null? Null is variance of the residual is homoscedastic. And what is the alternative? Variance of residual is heteroscedastic. And here, this one is desirable. For a good regression model, how to test it? So we shall be using Bruch, Pagan, Godfrey test to check whether the variance is homoscedastic or not. That we shall be checking now. Okay. So as before, I go to view. As before, I choose the residual diagnostics and choose the heteroscedasticity test i choose this one click on it okay here you can see there are many ways we can check it bruce began godfrey that is by default harvey test gletscher test arch test white test but out of many tests we want to check this one bruce began godfrey test so I, I choose OK. So you can see here, heteroscedastic test, Bruch, Began, Godfrey test that is here already. Okay, and we always check check the observed R square as before. Observed R square, and this is the statistics, and corresponding p value. How much is the p value? 36.5 percent 36.5 percent means it is more than uh, 5 percent 36.5 percent means it is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reach a null hypothesis meaning that we accept null and what is our null null is residual is homoscedastic so meaning that meaning that this model is good because residuals are homoscedastic not heteroscedastic and as I told heteroscedasticity is not desirable so from this part of so so we can say uh, we can say this is a good sign for this model okay then we talk about okay so now we check the another feature feature number six what is the feature residuals uh, follow normal distributions what does it mean what is now now is residual follow normal distribution an alternative residuals are not normally distributed and and our null hypothesis is desirable all the time 
and uh, how to check it so we shall be using Jarkabela statistics okay and as I told that residuals follow normal distribution is desirable for a good regression model so we can check it so uh, we go to view as before then I choose the residual diagnostics as before then I choose test of normality you can see from here choose on it and here you can see judge Jarkabera statistics you can see and corresponding probability value or p-value how much is the probability value it is 84.29 percent meaning that it is more than five percent meaning that we cannot reject now so it means that we accept now and what is our null hypothesis residuals are normally distributed and which is desirable so from this point of view this model is good because residuals are normally distributed okay now now we want to evaluate the model uh, we, we would like to evaluate the, our regression model too so uh, so number one evaluation the r square is a high which is more than 60 percent so that is desirable so it is a good sign but independent variables jointly fail to influence the dependent variable that is bad sign and another bad sign that only x1 variable is significant to explain why that is another bad sign right so and finally and, and some more residuals are autocorrelated that is also a bad sign because residuals should not be autocorrelated to have a good regression models but here is another good sign residual is homoscedastic that is a good sign and finally residuals are normally distributed that is a good sign so out of six features this one is good this one is uh, not said this one is good this one is good and this one is good and this is bad this is bad and this is bad so out of six three are good three are bad so we cannot accept this model as a good model and finally finally and that and finally thank you very much to stay with me for a while and uh, you can reproduce the results and hope so uh, hope so uh, you can produce exactly exactly what I have done and thank you very much again